channel. I hope you're all doing as well as possible. For this video, my intention is to create a relaxing distance Reiki session for soothing anxiety. If you're new here, welcome. I am a Reiki master practitioner and a lover of ASMR. I like to create distant sessions for all of you to feel empowered, to relax, and hopefully to feel comforted. I'm going to start by doing a little bit of clearing. I like to use my selenite wand for that. It's got a very gentle clearing energy. So, hopefully you can feel a nice, relaxing, clearing happening. video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I'm going to talk about them at the end of the video. But when I'm doing anything with uh, specific to mental health, I just want to make sure that you have some resources. I'm an ambassador with BetterHelp. They're an online counseling service. The way that I like to approach healing, really in any way, but if I notice anything with anxiety or depression, anything very specific to mental health, I really like approaching things holistically, looking at the whole picture healing physically, healing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. That's just the way I like to do it. And I think it's helpful to turn to professionals in every field. Mental health care professionals, medical professionals, Spiritual, you know, guides can be really helpful. So I think it's uh, it's nice to look at the whole picture. So this session is really meant to pair with all of that other lovely work. I want to invite a sense of calm and soothing here to help you feel more at peace during this session. So, 
We're going to light our candle here and set our intention. Some of the healing modalities that I like to employ go hand in hand and there's some crossover. For example, two of the things I really like to do to connect with my physical health are yoga and Hiking. My yoga also connects us to that spiritual alignment. It can help cleanse our energy using the flow of breath. It can help to ignite certain chakras. It's very supportive of the spiritual and emotional and mental health work that we're doing. And hiking connects me with nature, which is also incredibly powerful for my spiritual alignment, as well as As well as my mental health and my emotional balance. So a few of them kind of can balance all, all of these aspects and help to heal us. Likewise, eating, nutrition, things like that. It's the same. I feel a sense of healing from what I put in my body as well. So, on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self in loving comfort and perfect balance I wish to conduct this distance Reiki session for soothing anxiety and inviting in a deep sense of calm You wish to clarify or specify or even set your own intention. I leave this flame open for you to do that now. flicker away on the sidelines there. So... Now I'm going to... sacred Reiki symbols outside of your heart center. And then we'll start working with some tools. Let's take a deep rejuvenating breath together, okay, my love?
I'm going to use some of this The Laura Mist Spray I charged this in the new moon And It's Tea Tree Spray I've been really digging just using Tea Tree lately It's one of my favorites White sounds are also one of my favorites. To give you permission for the next little bit to just relax. Just give over to this moment try your best to be kind to yourself try to remain in tune your basic wants and needs, your comfort, are you hydrated, making sure that you're not thirsty, just being kind to yourself, because you deserve This was something that came up during the New Moon live stream. And I know I mentioned in my previous video that I was going to start doing some of the, you know, covering some of the themes that you mentioned you were moving through during that live stream that had a lot of a crossover where a lot of you mentioned it was something that you've been struggling with and working on. I know many of you mentioned anxiety. I'm sure it's different for all of you. Start moving through with some stones. We're going to start with this beautiful angelite slab. It's raw on one side and then cut open on the other and on this side as well. It's nice to just kind of stand up. It sends a beautiful radiating energy towards you, but I, I really like this stone for inviting in a deep sense of peace. But I know this can be different for all of us. How we engage with anxiety, what triggers our anxiety, but one aspect at play here between 
and several of the things that are happening in the collective that so many people have been sharing. Like in our previous video, it was insecurities that you'd requested and anxiety. I was talking to my partner about it and he said, you know, it could be that this the world is opening back up again. And as a result of that, we can start to feel like we're being judged or we can start to kind of judge our interactions with others. I think that's an interesting take on it. Have you been feeling more anxious, connected to seeing friends, seeing family, seeing people that you haven't maybe seen or connected with in a while? Is the anxiety connected to that? I'm curious to hear if you're open to sharing. I feel like so much of what we're all moving through really has a lot to do with what's going on in the world in so many different ways and then how that affects us in our personal lives. It really does just remind you how connected everything is. We're so connected. So if that's coming up here, I just want to encourage you to just be kind to yourself as you're having these interactions just remember that nobody's perfect if you're feeling this way chances are they are too if you're feeling this way you know, it's just an adjustment period. Anxiety can teach us, like everything, right? We talk about that a lot on this channel. What can these things teach us? Discomfort and all that. But what can your anxiety teach you? You are becoming more aware of your response to your environment. That's presence. That's beautiful. Now if your anxiety is about projecting yourself into the future and saying, what if this happens? What if that happens? Inviting in a sense of worry around the future and what's to come. What can this type of anxiety teach you? It could teach you, perhaps, where you want your life to go. It could teach you about your relationship with fear could teach you about inviting mindfulness and presence into this moment it can be the gateway toward a deeper understanding of present moment and mindful living. Sometimes anxiety is a great indicator of taking a pause, taking a step back. Again, if you suffer from chronic anxiety, we can address that here for sure. 
sure, but then again, I hope that you're seeing a mental health care professional to help you move through it. There's no shame in, in seeing a mental health care professional. It's one of the best things I ever did for myself was starting with seeing a therapist. I think it's an incredible practice. Just one of the best things you can do, I think, is to start um, excavating the depths of your mind and seeing what's there and having a guide there with you, I think, is so important. this kind of, this anxiety that can come from our situation, what we're moving through. So, just for now, I just want to encourage you to, whatever way you can, just try to be kind to yourself in this time of anxiety, this time of perhaps anxious thought. There's a little blue calcite that I wanted to invite in as well. This is a great stone for calm, for serenity, and find blue calcite um, to be one of those kind of, it has an activating calm. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like if you uh, move your body or get physical like after a yoga practice maybe or after going for a run or a hike or if you do martial art or you know, long walk and you sort of feel activated, but relaxed. Activated, but at peace. That's kind of the energy that I get from blue calcite. I used to sleep with it in the bedroom with me, and then I stopped doing that because I found it really relaxing, but also activating. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this can make you feel sort of a little zenned out. I want you to feel calm and soothed, but also kind of maybe we can we're not we're not zonking you out for this one quite yet, I guess. Try my best not to do any tapping for this video because I know that several of you who have anxiety um, are, can be sensitive to tapping. So I like to um, incorporate, at least, you know, I try to do one video here and there peppered in for any of you who are more sensitive to tapping. So we're all different. And I thought this would be a good one for that. How can you relax your body a little bit deeper? right now. What can you do right now to bring a little bit more comfort into your present moment? Perhaps you could adjust your body. Perhaps you could pull the covers up over your shoulders Maybe your shoulders are feeling a little cold. Just try to invite some awareness into your body and see if there's anything you can do to make yourself a little bit more physically comfortable. Maybe your stomach is crumbling and you want to get a snack. You can pause and come back. me waffle on while you go and do that. Maybe you are thirsty, like I said, you want to get a drink of water. Maybe you need to stretch or move or crack or do whatever you need to do. It's 
different parts of your body. Squeeze and release. Stretch. So stretch your body. Be like a cat. When you need to move, move. When you need to eat, eat. When you need to drink, drink. Connect with what you need and with what you want. take probably my favorite stone for this and that is celestate 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 this is a great stone for soothing calming and aligning um, <laughs> it's raw on the side and then it has these beautiful sparkles so I just want you now to try to practice returning to this moment so if you get distracted and your mind starts projecting into the future, I just want to invite you back here. This practice of returning to present, that's meditation. Oftentimes, when we are talking to someone who is just starting to meditate, there's a real sense that they feel like they're failing because they keep drifting. But in a way, that's kind of the goal. You want to drift because the practice mindful meditation, visualization meditations and all that aside, but the practice of mindful meditation is all about kind of escaping the present moment, drifting away from the present moment, and then the act of returning, coming home, returning to present returning to this moment. It's that action that helps us. And that way we can bring that, that practice, strengthening that muscle of returning, because we're going to get carried away and we can return. We will, life will carry us away and we can return to the present. And then if we're in situations in our lives, we can bring that practice into being. Something triggering happens to you and you can bring yourself back to presence, not projecting into the future, not going into yourself, but returning here to presence. So we'll begin the process of slowly 
just returning. If we go away, we come back. We drift off, we come back home. We drift away, we come back to present. We center, we ground. So just try to practice that now if you're open to it, or just, just relax, whatever you want to do. So if you find your mind wandering, just return here. Come back to this moment right here. Focus on the stone. Focus on the healing of my hand. Focus on the sounds. In this video with the sounds around you. Could focus on your breath, on your breathing. I'm just going to place my hands now. I'm doing some hands-on healing here. Just imagine a cool, comfortable, blue, glimmering light drizzling in through the crown of your head. All the way down your body into your tail. Soothing and healing. Continue returning to the present moment, right here. Hovering my hands outside of your throat, not touching you. Right here. heart center. Now outside of your solar plexus. Now your sacral. We are called to breathe deeply 
into your belly. You can just imagine your belly expanding if you're not accustomed to deep belly breathing. Or if it's uncomfortable for you, just imagine your belly expanding as you inhale. Sending cool, soothing energy into the shock. Gorgeous. Now your roots. Placing my hands on your hips here. Are there any affirmations you would like to place in here? Feel free to do that now. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to place them right above you. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com slash Reiki with Anna or use the link in the description box to get started and receive 10% off your first month. BetterHelp has licensed therapists who are certified by their state's board to provide therapy and counseling. You will then be asked a series of questions to help connect you with a counselor that's just right for you. It's accessible worldwide by using your computer, tablet, or mobile phone. Basically whatever you're watching this video on. Through video calls, phone calls, or even text messaging. BetterHelp also has group and R sessions every single week where members can learn in groups directly from licensed counselors. They cover all sorts of topics from relationships to ways to overcome anxiety. Based on your amazing comments, I know many of you struggle with issues like these. It's $65 a week 
and financial aid is available as well for those who qualify. You can apply for that during your sign-up process. You will then be asked to specify what kind of counselor you would feel most comfortable with, and you write in all your current issues. Within 24 hours, you will be matched up with a counselor that fits your needs. I'm so excited and grateful to have partnered with BetterHelp. They're an amazing resource, especially at a time like this, for all your mental health needs. If you do check them out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. If you are in a personal crisis, I have also included a link below to a mental health crisis center. Reiki with Anna.